Hello, my name is Oluwa Tufumi Anaiko and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, first thing I want to say is Happy New Year. We made it, we made it. I'm just so glad to have made it through 2020 and to now be in 2021. I really hope your 2021 is a lot better than your 2020. <laughs> So let's get into it. I kind of want to explain where I've been over the past few months. Um, it's been quite exciting and quite fun for me, but I also want to like maybe share this with people because I didn't, when I first was researching this kind of thing, I couldn't find like much in-depth detail or like see anyone's real process of this. So I thought it might be good to share my experience. Um, so I'm currently about three, four months into an MSc computer science course at Newcastle University. So it's a conversion course. Uh, I think most people know what that mean, but I'll explain it briefly. Um, well, this course specifically anyway, is for people with no background and no degree in like technology, tech space, that kind of stuff. So um, most, I studied architecture at Newcastle University from 2012 to 2015. And there's lots, like such a broad range of people on my course. Like I've met people that didn't get, uh, I met people that studied journalism, people that studied law, people that studied maths. And I'm like, but maths is great anyway. Um, yeah, it's just been a whole like group melting, amazing group of people. Um, I've got my notes here. So if I keep looking down, that's why. Um, I'll give some like key facts about the course. So it's a 12 month course and it's typically from September to September. So like I, if it wasn't for the disease, the illness that shall not be named, I would have started in September 2020 and I, I will still finish in September 2021. And so, and I'll go through how the illness that shall not be named has, shall not be named, has kind of affected my course later on in this video. So it's 12 months, uh, but it's 24 months part time. And as of 2021, the course will be £12,000 per year. Oh, so um, I didn't pay that. I'm pretty sure I paid about 11. Well, I'm pretty sure my course cost was about 11550 I think that's like the area. And I'm pretty sure the year before me, the course was about 11220 Um yes the the jump in cost is ridiculous um uh this is one thing i want to like say shout out to all newcastle alumni i think most people know this but if you're a newcastle alumni you can get 20 percent discount off of their tuition fees if you do like um if you do a master's so that's one of the main reasons i chose that course even though there's like newcastle has a lot of things going for it but i think when you realize how much 20 percent is it's just a, another really enticing reason to go back to Newcastle. Like, I'm 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 from the southeast, so, so London, sort of Essex area. If my family is like in Essex, I obviously can't live at home when I go to do my masters in Newcastle. So I'm really fortunate for and really like proud that Newcastle is doing something like the alumni discount because it means I can actually use some of that money to put towards my rent. I mean, that's not the only reason I applied go to Newcastle because Newcastle is an amazing city. It's kind of like bohemian, it's not quite completely gentrified yet so you might find the odd little cute coffee shop or tea shop if you know where to look. It's, it's a great city, yeah. But for the computer science course, because you're there for 12 months, it's three semesters. Semester one is like September to like Christmassy time. We're finishing in January, but I feel like that might be good illness that shall not be named related. And then we've got semester two, which is until like, I think after Easter time. And then over the summer, we're doing like a big group project. So if I break the course down in terms of what we learn, the course is essentially the first two years, plus a little bit extra of the undergraduate computer science course at Newcastle University. So it's a lot of knowledge in a very short period of time and you feel it, honestly. So the first semester so far has been uh, two Java modules. So introduction to Java and sort of a more advanced Java module. 
and then it's been databases which has been fantastic it's just like relational non-relational databases sql querying like already set up databases um normalization er diagrams great module we also had a module on professional studies which i think they should have done more at university i don't know if other people did but i feel like i just had like a day or two where they would just lightly touch on um this is what work might be like but we've got a whole module which is like reviewing yourself and your skills and setting a plan on how to work for those skills and like how to find the best job for yourself and not like scattergunning job applications but finding a job in a work environment that would suit me as a person fantastic stuff honestly and then speaking to people that are in an industry that have done the same course as us great course and then networks which has been really interesting it talks about like LAN and a lot of network protocols so like TCP IP talking about all the different layers of TCP IP and there's a lot of like real like what seems like finer detail IT that was probably my hardest subject so I, we're still doing it now so I'm trying to drill it into my head but on the whole I've really enjoyed everything and I'd really recommend um, in terms of like, I'm going to go over a light overview, but we also do things later like cyber security and uh, group projects. So that's good for the CV and job apps. And um, then a big dissertation at the end where you can kind of focus on an area like, let's say, cloud or Internet of Things. Some people have wanted to do like AI and machine learning. And although you're allowed to, they really take your academic work throughout the year seriously to be able to look at that um to be able to give you the option to do machine learning or ai or if you've got like an engineering background they might consider you more for it so yeah so yeah so it hasn't affected our work too much so like with especially in terms of content so i've been told by a lot of the lecturers that actually the content is the same but updated where it needs to be so like the web development uh, module a few like a year or two ago I believe they were teaching like X HTML and now we're learning HTML5 for example so they're just trying to make sure we keep up with industry standard practices so we're actually viable work employees once we're done which I appreciate um, but it has affected the course in kind of two ways so Newcastle University's first semester is normally 12 weeks um, but because they couldn't really they weren't they were staggering people's entry to Newcastle University trying to spread the trying to slow the spread of the illness that shall not be named and because of that they started about four weeks later so where each module would normally be four weeks long they were now three weeks long and so they were cramming a lot into a very small period of time especially in like the first Java module where it's like I've never I've practiced Java using Code Academy, but I've never built like a full end to end product. I'd never even had downloaded an IDE before. So it was just literally it was such a steep ramp. I'm not going to lie. I genuinely enjoyed it because at the end of the three weeks, when you've created something that works, it's just like such a pat on the back. But it, it definitely was stressful at times because especially in that course, if you had four weeks, you'd have two weeks of learning and then you kind of start um, the coursework in your third week when you've kind of got a bit of a foundation of the knowledge of that module. Whereas I felt like, or as I still started on the second week, but I there was so much I didn't know. So I felt like I was constantly revising the coursework because I'm like watching a lecture and then being like, oh, I should do that in my coursework instead of what I did. So that was a little bit frustrating to be honest. But, and then the other thing that like, obviously you can't go in and have lectures which means that for us, Newcastle University, every lecturer has record has some kind of recording. So none of the lectures are just online, they're all recorded somehow. So some lecturers, and these were my favourite in terms of re-watching a lecturers, some lecturers did like whole new videos. They sat down and really decided, okay, I want to make this clear, I want to make this clear, I want to make new notes. And they were my, I was so thankful for those lecturers. Um, some lecturers more provided like video recordings of their lectures last year on um, a software called Recap, which is okay, but it, it's not as good as 
the people that have really decided to break it down for you. At least for this course, I could tell that every single lecturer cared and wanted us to do well. They were always like, hit me up, email me, speak to me on Teams, FaceTime me. JK. Um, but they were like, just get in touch. If you have questions, get in touch. And I really appreciated that mentality. So. So I find it really hard to completely recommend this course at the moment. I think if I, I've applied to 11 grad schemes, so if I, and they're all like really good pay, really good companies and all tech related. So if I get one, I will be like, thumbs up, do it tomorrow. I'm, I'm just gonna let you know that right now, because that's the goal, right? A good either software development or like kind of consulting role in like a tech company that's the goal for most people. So as soon as I get that, A star, apply tomorrow. But I will also, but if I don't, I might, I might say don't do it at all, just because it is a lot of money. Like 2021 fee, like I said, is 12 grand. So I feel like the tuition will probably be there, thereabouts. The tuition loan, sorry, will probably be there, thereabouts. 12 grand, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Um, and that's a lot of debt to add to an undergraduate loan, undergraduate loan debt. It's it's a lot. Um, and then you see, especially when you see people getting roles as developers through boot camps, which are like more like five grand for like two months or like six weeks. Or you see people actually on YouTube that are like, I have I got a job at Microsoft with no masters and no boot camp. And it's kind of like, if you can save the money and not do a whole 12 grand and that's just the tuition fee because living costs obviously if you're not from Newcastle you have to add living costs on top so if you can get a great like software development consulting if you can get a job that you want in tech without the degree at the moment I'm saying don't do it if you're looking at yourself and saying realistically I'm not going to be able to take time out of my free time and really focus on like learning coding for myself for example or doing like practice in coding for myself for example then at the moment i would say do the course because it forces you to focus and it's a good good course but yeah i think i would like to recommend the course if you have money um if you don't maybe consider something some other options um and if i get a job i would say across the board just do it because it's worth it um yeah so I hope that helped. Uh, thank you so much for watching the whole video. Um, I'm going to do uh, more updates. So I'm going to do my updates every three months and let you know what happens. And I just can't really wait to keep going on the course. Thank you. Take care, everybody, and have a good rest of your day.